Hello, chicken people. One of the most stressful times for both chickens and chicken keepers alike is adding new chickens to established flocks. Newcomers upset the pecking order as every bird has to stake or restake a claim for position. This can lead to squabbles and fighting amongst the chickens, resulting in injuries and even death. Today, we'll give you five mistakes to avoid when introducing new chickens to your established flock, as well as some tips to make the whole process easier both on you and your chickens. We're the Hobby Farm Guys, Brian, Steve, and Eric behind the scenes. Don't go away, how to introduce new chickens to your flock is up next. Many people, having started out with a few chickens, discover that, well, they need more chickens. Sometimes additional chickens are required to offset the loss to predation or simply as younger replacements for older hens who've slowed their egg production. Whatever the reason, adding chickens to an established flock is something most of us will do at some point, but how do we do it right? Your flock's pecking order is disrupted when newcomers arrive. Things go into a state of upheaval as the new birds stake claims for the best nesting and roosting spots. Which also means all of your old birds will have to defend their places from the newcomers. And your new birds don't know the established routines and unwritten rules in the flock. As a result, they'll be making all sorts of horrifying social faux pas, like leaving the coop before Henny Penny or sunbathing in Henrietta's favorite spot. Yeah, they don't understand that Agatha Christie has dibs on the corner nest box or that Meryl Cheap always gets to eat first. Being the new kid on the block can be hard and established clicks in your flock can be like the mean girls in middle school. When introducing new chickens, there will be bullying, alliances made and alliances broken, friends won and lost, and a fair amount of chasing and squabbling as the flock works its way through the social upheaval thrust upon it. The good news is, you'll all get through it. Here are five things you can do, or more specifically, not do, to make the process easier. And the first mistake to avoid is rushing the process. First of all, new birds should be quarantined away from your flock for at least four weeks to ensure they don't have any infections or communicable health issues. And if you're starting with chicks, you want to let them mature to an extent prior to combining them with your mature birds. As close to the same size is better, but at a minimum, keep in mind that young growing pullets and mature laying hens require different diets. Yeah, good luck keeping them out of each other's food if they're housed together. For this reason alone, it's often easier to keep them separate until the pullets are ready to go on laying feed, which puts them at a size where they're less apt to be bullied by the older hens. Once the quarantine period has elapsed or the chicks have grown and feathered out enough to be outside, you can begin to introduce them. Generally, starting with a look-but-don't-touch approach is the easiest way to add new birds to the flock. Place the new birds in an enclosure next to your coop or run, or if space dictates, in a cage or containment within the coop or run. The idea is to let the chickens see each other and become familiar with one another while preventing direct interaction and bullying. So how long do you run a dual flock? Well, it depends. Some docile breeds adapt and accept new additions rather quickly, while some breeds or birds require a longer introduction period. Plan on at least a week. Two weeks is going to be better. And the next mistake to avoid is adding just one hen to the flock. When it's time to add to the flock, aim to add groups of chickens rather than one bird. Adding a single hen is often problematic. When a single bird is introduced, all the flock's aggression and worry will be directed at her. Adding more than one bird at a time helps spread out that attention rather than having it all focused on a single bird all the time. But sometimes that may not be an option. Say your neighborhood covenants restrict you to five hens, but the neighborhood dog just lowered your hen population to four. If adding a single bird, one method to try is starting out with a buddy hen. So you're going to place the new bird in an area and let her kind of establish that as her turf. Then take a fairly docile hen from the existing flock who falls in the middle of the pecking order and put her with the newbie for a week or so until they seem to be getting along. Then introduce both of them back in the flock together. Now, mistake number three to avoid when adding new chickens to your flock is choosing the wrong chicken. Chickens are awesome, but they can also be mean. And just like high school, if somebody looks different, they can be quickly a target. That's not to say you can't have a variety in your flock. That's one of the best parts of having chickens is getting to enjoy all the different types of birds. But keep in mind, if you have a homogenous flock of Rhode Island Reds, 
and then you try and toss in a couple of crusted Polish hens, you may find they mix like oil and water. Those that look different may initially be hassled, or at a minimum, not allowed to eat at the same table as the cool kids. They should eventually figure it out, but it can be a very rough road when beginning. Likewise, keep in mind that different breeds, as well as individual chickens, have different personalities. Mixing aggressive or assertive birds with timid birds will lead to foreseeable consequences. Here again, the pecking order is going to eventually get set, but initial bullying may be severe. Mistake number four is not having enough space. We get it. It's hard not to want to get a few of every kind you can find when you walk past the chicks in the farm and ranch store. But chickens, like people, need their personal space. And often, we make plans for, say, six chickens and build a coop and a run for six chickens and find out we love chickens so much that next spring, we bring home ten more to add to the six we have. As you add to your flock, make sure to expand the coop and run space and add additional nest boxes, feeders, and waterers as necessary. Cramming too many birds into too small of a space is a guaranteed way to end up with bickering and fighting chickens. Having plenty of space allows newer birds a safe zone where they can escape being hassled. After the introductory period of look but don't touch, many find that initially allowing the birds to mingle while out free ranging provides them the opportunity to interact, but also to avoid confrontation due to the larger space that they're in. And free ranging also provides the birds an activity to keep them busy, which is mistake number five to avoid. Don't forget to provide distractions. Bullying and fighting is much more likely if the chickens are bored and have nothing better to do than pick on the new kid. But given alternatives, like a cabbage head to pick at, a fresh pile of mulch or straw to scratch through, or the opportunity to look for bugs while free-ranging, chickens are more likely to entertain themselves with those options instead of putting the new kid in its place. As mentioned before, when introducing new birds, add an additional feeding and watering station. This prevents the established chickens from preventing the new ones from eating and drinking. As they figure out the pecking order, things will head back to normal and additional feeders and waterers can be removed. And a bonus tip is don't be absent during the initial introduction. You want to be around as they first mix to step in as needed if things get out of hand. Keep in mind, there's going to be some bickering and jostling as they establish the new pecking order. And that's a perfectly normal and necessary step when introducing new chickens. Just keep an eye out for problems. If it gets to the point that blood is drawn, you need to intervene and separate the birds to prevent greater injury. But by avoiding these five common mistakes, you can make introducing new chickens to your flock much easier on you and the chickens. To review, the five mistakes to avoid are rushing the process, adding only one bird, adding the wrong birds, not providing enough space, and not providing distractions. So how about it? Do you have another tip you think is important when introducing new chickens to an established flock? Let us know by dropping it in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, keep on hobby farming. Bye everybody.